last time I checked, that load's still not ready. But it's like I gotta go up there at some point today, whether loaded or not. It ought to be loaded by the time I get there. I'm hoping whatever trailer I can find at Hy-Vee there in Inkeny doesn't need a washout because they're gonna come back down to uh, Des Moines. Uh, yeah, I don't think that washout up north will be open this time of night.
I just learned something I didn't know I needed to know. Casey's brand of glass cleaner not only works as well, if not better, than Windex, it smells nice. It's weird. Most glass cleaner smells really ammonia-y and kind of bitter, or like antifreeze. This stuff smells like nice hand soap. Like a soft, sweet smell. Odd. Okay. try to get down to like Harrisonville or something today but I got up down around uh, St. Joe I'm, I'm just tired I got up at 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon I had to wait around till my load was ready I'm ready for bed I'm gonna take the dog for a walk run and get my shower for the day and then hit sack <laughs>
office is playing uh, musical loads this morning. Apparently they had somebody didn't get as far as they were supposed to or whatever. And uh, they they got two loads picking up in Garland where I'm going down to the Daisy place. <clears throat> they don't know which one they're gonna put me on yet. They gave me one, took it off, gave me the other, took it off. Now they don't know what what they said I could have that way because I'm definitely loading that bitch so know which one. As I pulled up, I remembered this place requires two load locks. I only had one. I asked that shoestring driver on the way in. She had one. She said no, but there was one sitting in the dock. Has an extra hat. A couple extra load locks. Golden. I'm pretty sure when I'm done here, I'm gonna come right here and park. There's signs saying no overnight parking, but I mean, I'm not really gonna be here overnight. I'll be getting out of here off of the 10 probably. Yeah, I'm left with an hour and 30 minutes, so. Most likely just get loaded, come over here and park, finish my break, figure out when they want me to roll because we're relaying this at some point.
I talked to this dude at 10 o'clock last night. Told him what time I'd be here. All that. I'm within 20 minutes of the time I told him I'd be here. And I find him sleeping in bed. Hasn't done what he needs to do with his bills because with Schuster, even on relays, we have to send the bills in. So he needs to have pictures of the bills. Hasn't done that. He hasn't dropped his trailer. And he was asleep when I got here. I don't understand that. <laughs> I mean, I, I know why it happens, but I don't know how you get to be so self-centered and shitty. Like, why would you wait to, I got here to do all the shit that needs to be done. So now I have to wait on you. I don't understand that. So, all right, you feels sure good to work. Those are extra seals. All right, you don't have extra seals, so. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, near the pumps there on the first row across the street. All right. Is that you? That'll be easy. Yep. <laughs> I got one question for you. Go for it. All right, which team? Huh? Since you're from Oklahoma, which team? Yeah, I don't watch football. No. Oh. I mean, everybody I know roots for OU. My uh, uh, father-in-law lives in OKC, so. Okay. Well, I don't really watch football. No, I don't play. I don't watch football. So, and when you tell a guy that, they almost immediately like they get sad. Anything to talk to you about? Jason called me to let me know that this wasn't my home load. He said, "Yeah, I can read. It says Ankeny. Yeah, I don't have time to get to Ankeny, so I imagine you're bringing me one." He said that that driver will be here around one in the afternoon. I realize I'm not going to keep this trailer long. I'm only going a mile, but I'm still going to do a pre-trip. But I'm still going to do a pre-trip on it because if there is something wrong with it, and I'm sitting on it all day, that I can get it fixed while I'm waiting on it, them to come.
good old find my relay driver here. She's here. So she can't find any place to park. So my brake is up anyway, so I can go figure out where she's at and have her drop her trailer wherever and I'll look up to it and get out of the way. taking those extra parts to this place in Tulsa tomorrow morning. I basically need to go find somewhere to hide out for several hours because I'm only three hours away from Ochilada. Appointments at seven. And it's a Walmart, so I can't get there till 6.45 or something, let's see. What time does it actually Yeah. Oh, okay, it's a little better. 6:45, so I can't get there till 5:45. Seven hours from now, and I'm a three-hour drive. But there's nowhere to park here. That's why we had to switch trailers. So I need to go find somewhere to between here and there, find somewhere to park. Location before. More than I can count. <laughs> We're showing you a 645. Yeah. He acknowledged that I'm still 25 minutes early, so he's kind of hinting at that they may not let me in. We'll see. Alright, 
Appreciate you, buddy.